Hey guys, six mark questions are getting longer and they're getting harder. Here is how I'd like you to answer them. Whenever you get a really long six mark question, what I would like you to do is to get your highlighters out, two different color highlighters, and we are going to make a key. So this could be an advantage, disadvantage question. So the green is going to be the disadvantage and the purple is going to be the advantage. Now, after you've read the entire thing, looked at the question and we're going to work out what the question is asking us. So it is a describe question and it's describing the advantages and the disadvantages. Now, I'm going to highlight all of the advantages in purple and the disadvantages in green. So, this is a good thing. There we go. This is another good thing. But the examiner is going to put a bad thing at the end of this sentence. Now, another thing the examiners like to do is throw in a load of completely irrelevant information. But what the examiners are doing is testing you to see if you can pick information out. This is probably going to be a massively long section in the middle, which is going to be of no use to you in the answer at all. There are going to be a lot of words in there, and some words are going to be really complicated. Now, this isn't designed to throw you off, but it's designed to see whether you can pick out the information. Just because you don't know what these words mean, don't worry and this is just the examiners being mean but if you do it like this break it down this should really really help you work everything out so here is another bad thing this next thing is mostly but kind of bad but mostly good so we're going to have that as a good thing and then we have a very very bad thing now, what we've done here is we've broken a massive, massive section of text down into very, very short bits of information. What you can do then is to draw a table so we can have advantages, disadvantages, And as long as you're writing in full sentences within this table, you should get all of the marks. Because remember, this type of question is going to be your quality of written communication question. So we do need to be thinking about our sentence structure, our capital letters, our full stop and our spelling. But there's no reason you can't lay it out in a nice, lovely, sciencey table. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you, or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests, or to see all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.